Welcome back once again to Real People Real Life from Wichita, Wichita Kansas, Kansas, America. Kansas, America. I just love how we're the Boy Scouts. Yeah, you know, we were laughing. We were laughing earlier. We were like, one of these days we're going to do that. All these balloons and confetti are going to go crazy. Just drop on them. I would like that. I, would like that. <laughs> I think that would be fun. And of course, we are still here with the Boy Scouts of America, which I think is totally cool. Yes. But let's talk about the women in of the Boy, Boy Scouts of America. Okay, Cammie, tell me what it's like to be a den mom. How cool. I love being a den mom. I so, one of the Boy Scouts are very personal to me. I'm a single mom of an eight year old boy. So, one of the reasons why I started this, I wanted him to have really good, positive role right. models and have a good male influence. Yeah, and influence. so, that's, that's, that's so something cool. that we found. And the other thing about Boy Scouts, I think most people think about it being for the children, right. but we enjoy the relationship and the community with the parents just as much as we do with the kids. That's so, awesome. it's a lot of fun. What do you do? I mean, so you're the den mom. Do you have meetings? Yes. Can you have the meetings at your house or? Some units do, but most of them have been at church. Okay. Okay. Well, when it's about 10 to 12 eight-year-old boys, um, I prefer to have it at the church. Just right? <laughs> yeah. I can understand that. No one told 10 to 12 eight-year-old boys. <laughs> yeah. 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 What unfolds at a meeting? Is that when y'all build a fire and so we always a tent? <laughs> we don't always build fires. We don't uh, always build fires. fires. <laughs> but one of the first things that we do is one of the things that's very important about the Boy Scouts is teaching the boys um, kind of routine and also about respect. So one of the first things that we do is we do the Pledge of Allegiance to the American flag. So I think that's one of the things that also is maybe missing that doesn't happen as often exactly. as it used to. Exactly. Well, you know, when I went to school, we always had our Pledge of Allegiance. That's how you started your day. Yeah. You didn't start your school day until you did that. So I'm glad to see that you guys are doing that. So we, we always start with that, and then we always explore a lesson. So in um, general, we have different activities or adventures, things that we have have to complete in order to meet the rank, whether it's lion, tiger, bear, wolf, the wee blows, one and two. So we go through I love those. These yeah. <laughs> So, and the boys are actually very be very proud of being part of that group. Yeah. So they they are very quick to tell you which group they're a part of and very proud of it. And so. yours are mostly seven to eight? Yes, okay. yes. And do you have room in your group or? We do, yeah, there's always room for boys. There's, there's always room for They're never <laughs> full, right? So. How many leaders do we have here in this, in this uh, council? Would you say? For the council? Um, in the council, we serve around between eleven and thirteen thousand boys, depending upon the time of the year, and we have wow. around between three and four thousand adult leaders. Wow. Okay, tell me how big this particular council area is. Well, our council, our council, is thirty counties uh, between central and south uh, eastern Kansas. For wow. around here in Cedric County, uh, we have roughly about eleven hundred leaders um, here in Cedric County area. You guys, that's are quite a bit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there should be a, a pack in every neighborhood so somebody we're getting there find it. we're getting there there's you probably know, between the wichita area we're probably somewhere around probably between the, well cedric county we're probably pretty close to about 200 troops teams crews uh, packs. Wow. you had mentioned popcorn cells yeah. now you said something about you don't have as long of a cell period when is when your is cell it? period it's mike is our popcorn Mike, <laughs> okay well i tell <laughs> you I tell everyone how can right. they get some I'm, popcorn i'm what you call our popcorn kernel i'm in charge of our packs popcorn <laughs> sales <laughs> that's right popcorn and kernel i love it <laughs> the popcorn sales usually last approximately a month okay. sometimes a little more than a month depending on when we start and when not um we used to do it around november-ish but we had a lot of feedback from them. We've moved it earlier into the year okay. and to around September. Oh, good. September and October. Yeah, is, September, like, is there October. a reason why you only do it once a year? We don't want to use up the goodwill in the community is the best yeah. way. We don't want to always be pushing popcorn. Right. Yeah, we we also have a lot of other activities we have to do as boys. Exactly. Scouts. Absolutely. You know, and that Absolutely. was something that was yeah. something else that I wanted to talk to you about. You know, um, you always hear about a pine wood derby or pine, pine wood derby. Pine wood derby. What yes. is that? What is that? It seems like a big event for the Boy Scouts of America. Is that anything like the old uh, soapbox? You know, that kind of thing. No, it's a small <laughs> scale. Oh, really? We'll set up a track, four lane track that comes right through. The, this room and boys will make cars, different designs. Uh, very interesting. Really? They, they make their own cars? Oh, yes. With their dads. Okay. And, and it, it actually starts something. as a block of wood. Literally, it's just a block, block of wood. Of wood that wow. We, uh, that the boys have to cut and out. We're just about to find one derby season, so I know most of the packs through January and February will have their pack on. races, yeah. and maybe through March. And then we'll have a district race where we bring a lot of the winners together in April. You know, in April? Mm -hmm. 
Were you here um, when we were doing the um, soapbox derbies way back in the old days? And what was that hill? No, I haven't. Well, you didn't live here. No, I, I didn't. I came in '86, so. Oh, okay, well, yeah, you're young, honey. Never mind. Um, never mind, never mind. I came in 87. You know, I, I, I'm a born and raised from the uh, okay. 60s baby here. Um, okay, so, Mike, tell me a little bit more on this popcorn, Mr. Popcorn Colonel. You, you. Um, I just love that. What kind of Captain popcorn Colonel. flavors is it? And what does it come in? Well, the popcorn flavors Get vary. In. We have chocolate, we have jalapeno, we have what? cheddar. Um, we also have just butter, and we also have the butter light, which is for the people who are more health conscious. <laughs> I am usually, but not when we're talking it, about It talking usually about. comes in uh, boxes or packs okay. or bags. Um, some of it's pre-popped, and some of it That's is microwavable okay. type popcorn, and some of it's just your old style kernels that you put in a frying pan and pop up. Which are great for bonfires. Hello. Absolutely. The, uh, yeah. what, what's nice about it is we have a, a price point for everybody. That's so cool. if you want to donate a lot, you can buy you know a, a big box of every type of chocolate popcorn we sell, wow. or you can buy a small bag of just caramel oh. corn that's ten dollars and it's it's a great bag to buy because it's football season when we're selling it right you can sit there watch mm -hmm. Kansas City Chiefs play football and eat a little caramel. exactly okay so you're gonna make me literally I have to wait till September before I can I don't understand no you can always be buying popcorn oh um, okay where do I go you go to the uh, um, you first find a scout that you have that you know and they will have associated hey, <laughs> and hopefully they will have associated an, an account on their website on okay. the trails, trails in website. Trails, trails in website trails with in. themselves okay. Okay. so when you purchase the popcorn the sales go directly to that scout and to his pack and to the district okay and if you need to find a scout you can call the same number oh uh, here we are again and, and that's 316 264 Three three eight six. And, and yep. what a lot of the scouts use the money for that they earn is to go to summer camp. Right. And the summer camp's usually um, for Cub Scouts, which is what we are, is usually about three days long. Um, we go to Camp Kansas, just south of Hutchinson, and um, most of our boys earn at least half or all of their fees for scouting camp in the summer. Wow. So uh, they what age group do they do that? We do that. Um, from the taggers all the way up. So do they go without the parents? Um, <laughs> I, parents three days. Parents are parents. welcome to come. No, I'm just kidding. And we do have a lot of parents who do come <coughs> with their boys. But as the boys get older, they become less reliant on the parents. More independent. And, yeah. um, so for the younger boys, they all, almost always have their parents there. <coughs> for the youngest boys, they do have to have their parents there. Okay. And as they get older, the reliance on their parents kind of shifts away and we then have boys who have like community tents, things like that, where you have groups of boys staying in one tent while the adult leaders have their own tents. <coughs> okay, yeah. I'm sorry to get back to the popcorn for a minute. Um, you <laughs> have a boy scout, right? I do. I know. <laughs> I have a Being boy scout. scout. Oh, that's right, okay. Well, do you have popcorn yet? Yes. Okay. Do we have popcorn? <laughs> yes. yes. Let me ask real quick. The, the answer is always yes. Is that jalapeno <laughs> popcorn? Is that something I need to prepare or does it come like in a pre It comes in a bag pre prepared, already Sounds popcorn, ready to eat. perfect. Okay, before I leave, I'm getting popcorn just so you guys know. So if yes. you want popcorn and you don't have like myself and you're not sitting here with all You can contact people. Real People Real Life and ask Fasa to yes. have her son do it. There you go. There yes. you go. Okay, well, I'm just saying. I'm, I'm placing my popcorn order now. So, just so you know. Is there anywhere on like a Boy Scouts of America website that people could go to too? Well, or? typically around this time of year, it's harder to find. So, okay. honestly, having us in the room is, is reliant. Like you said, there's there's definitely ways of getting a hold of us at the office. We can help. Okay. Uh, publicly, the sale won't start again until next September. So, that's really uh, kind of how it does because we are now now geared towards the uh, summer. Mm -hmm. We have a few winter activities. Pinewood Derby. What are we the have, winter activities? Sure. Well, Pinewood Derby is a big one at the pack level. Yeah. Trappers, I mentioned for Boy Scouts that will be at Harvey County West with 8,000 of our friends from nine different states. It's fantastic. That's so cool. Uh, in uh, February, we have Eskimo Run, which I was in Lake Afton, which is a Cub Scout event. So a lot of these what, guys will What be. is that? It is a, basically a miniature Winter Olympics of kids. So they have different what? stations and games that they earn points and they get identified as what a winner and Can you please call us? And, I would love to go out there and shoot that. And this lap, the one before that that you said the event, what, what is that? Yeah, what is that? Trappers is a 1800s themed camp for Boy Scouts and mentors. Um, so we have mountain men who are in full regalia out there. Yeah. We have demonstrations of blacksmithing and That's chiseling cool. and black powder shooting and archery and BB guns and 
sawing like old fashioned wood right. saws. Oh. Yeah, we have all kinds of stuff going on. And the biggest event for those kids is trading. You have about four or five thousand of those kids sitting along the sides of roads doing nothing but pass trading and tr trading uh, goods that they've actually made. How cool. Uh, which really? is pretty really unique because the, the idea of bartering is something that a lot of these kids have never been exposed to. You know, I said this all the time. There was a, a, a gentleman here in Wichita, a very nice person who donated uh, a ton of money, and we took uh, that, the donations that he, uh, he has sent down to uh, one of the Indian tribes down there, and they made Indian moccasins, the mm -hmm. old school moccasins, and they were donated to um, a couple of the Boy Scout troops, uh, you know, groups here in Wichita. This was probably 30 years ago. Um, it's been a long time ago, but how cool was that? That's pretty You know, I mean, but that's my point. I think there's so many things that, that Boy Scouts of America can do, and, and I would love to see more people Absolutely. You know, and uh, and this day and age, you you hear so many people complaining about the youth, like the the young adults, and how uneducated and on so many levels not self reliant at all. And we want to turn that around. And I, I really totally feel like Boy Scouts of America, you know, it takes care of you. Lose that socializing because all you do is text and play video games. You know, this forces you to socialize. We don't allow kids to bring their phones up. Thank you. Okay, I know you need to take a break, but that made me happy. You can't have these. <laughs> um, that's a good thing. That is a very good thing. Thank you. I was hoping that, you know, I get kind of there's irritated. Limitations. I know. My daughter, I'm like, no, there's not an app for that child. You know. Uh, and they would sit there right beside each other and text each other rather than yeah. talk to each other if you love them. I think that's them, crazy. So. I think it's crazy. So there is no app, sorry. Um, ha, um, and there is no phone allowed. I think that's fabulous. You know, that just kind of lifts, oh, I like that, big time. Um, we have one more segment I'd like to get today. Yes. So if that's okay with you guys, can we keep you right here? For just one for a few more minutes. Okay. And I'll, in the meantime, I'm going to get my popcorn order in. And no, you have to wait, I'm sorry, till September. No, you but, don't. Uh, but you might contact Pasa, you know, and we'll see what I we I got can. the ends. Yeah, we'll see what we can do. <laughs> We're going to be right back with more Real People, Real Life for Star Kansas. America! America!